Hey guys, Aaron from the Ball Pit. Finally wrapping up the uh, Screw and Gone beef. So um, we now have Karma, the Screw response from Gone. Check out Screw, check out Gone, check out the Ball Pit YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitch at um, twitch.tv, the underscore Ball Pit, all lowercase. All right, let's, uh, let's, you know, let's not make it too long. Let's get right into the content. It's Monfu right here. Stop all that crying shit, all right? Like, don't, 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 don't you dare cast a stone and hide in your hands, you coward. Like, don't. Mm. That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to be, right. they're taking it too far now, man. Boop, 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 boop. Uh-oh. I hope he came with receipts Pointed this time. Pointed at this at me, but I flipped it back on you, so you left disappointed. Funny thing about the rigor mortis when it hits your corpse and all your vital organs, it'll guarantee no round three. Six feet deep, sleep soundly. You must really be upset. Huh, bitch. You took five months to write a diss track, but I hit back, and in six seconds, you were dead. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to this. Not a lot's happening right now. The defibrillate in his chest. Okay. Think I'm gonna resuscitate him just so I can make him fucking die again. It's time mm -hmm. you learn some respect. Yeah. Why are you so obsessed with me? You got hella posters of me on your fucking wall. You're like a stalker. Why are you so obsessed with me? Didn't, I mean, didn't you start this, Gone? And, I mean, the posters are obviously there for a gimmick, obviously. So, I don't really like this point so far. Keep my girlfriend out your mouth. Okay. Y'all her a tramp and a fucking dog. Fuck you. That's Monfu. So, fuck you and that tramp. So don't play victim when you get salty. I swear to God, you shouldn't have... You thought you wanted your life to be over before? Wait until my dish drops and I flame your soul. I'm going to cook you in that flat body to hook or you call a girl. God damn, fight him. You have to. Messed with me. Nah. Wanna talk about our loved uh -oh. ones? Then let's talk about our loved ones. Who went to jail for fraud when you were 17? Oh. Damn. Oh no. This motherfucker wasn't raised right. If you try to speak on people's families, just know the newspapers don't play nice. Boy. It's no one. Free ass, nice house, stand while you perform in Charleston, but your head got in the way and everyone's noticing. Please start being your old self. You're the new Dax. I'm only half white, and all these reactors, comments, and exposed videos will be the end of you. Church, body on the last track. Grizzly tried teaching you to be humble. You disrespected blind sight, and you just not the same screw I can fuck with. I wish you good luck in your career, but the way you move. Uh, everyone gonna stop fucking you no longer SFJ and seen so many people jump off your shit. You have an illness. Get better. All love. Dog, shut up. Nobody cares what you think. And hopefully you go back and read this message later in life. Realize how much of an emotional douche you are. One of that old members of your nation are sending DMs from when you were begging them for donations. Oh. You promised to pay them back. Instead ghosted them and took the cash and now be coming. Um, okay. This receipt right here. We don't. We need more, Luke. Like, this isn't enough right here. You're not sending the actual details of they sent him money and he said he'd give it back and he never did. And everything that you said you hate about Dex. Damn. What's the matter, screw? You can dish it but can't take it? How's it feel to get a taste of your own medicine? All right. Calling me Eminem is your only weapon. You should know. It's not his only weapon. Uh, screw, uh, not screw. Gone came with a receipt, but it... I needed more. I need if he would have scrolled up just a little bit to show more of the message, maybe. But I don't know what it said, so I can't say anything. About Better it. that ain't enough of a dish to put me in a hole, let alone impress us. You're basically it. Oh. Uh, my flow's better. Where? Yeah, my jacket's leather. It's called fashion. My jacket's leather. It's called fashion. He never dissed you for it. Like, he never was like, oh, leather jackets are trashy. He dissed you because of how you use it to try to look like Eminem and we wear the same jacket all the time. All you rock is old sweaters. Old sweaters? Just because he's wearing a black hoodie? Oh, there's Shizzy right there. All you said on your last record was that you could whip my ass oh, or shoot okay. me with guns. I will punch in your face in real life. I mean, okay. So, from this right here, I know that Gone doesn't understand battle rap. Because a diss record is almost just the same as a punch in the face. That's what it's supposed to feel like. 
And Screw is literally telling you, I will punch you in your face in real life. Like, I am about it, and you are not. That was a big part of both Screw's and Shizzy's disses. Is like, you are not about this life. I am. So that's what that's my thoughts on it, at least. There'd be your only chance to beat me if Screw is such a tough guy. Yo, how come he picks on girls, but no one's ever seen him though? A punch, you little bug eyed hoe. Now I'm hurting you. There won't ever come. Wait, what did you say? Because I couldn't read the lyrics because of that. How come he picks on okay. girls, but no one's ever seen him throw a punch, you little bug eyed hoe? No one's ever seen him throw a punch. Just because your fights aren't on the internet doesn't mean they didn't exist. Oh, now I'm hurting you. There will never come a day on Twitter where they don't say that I murdered you. I, I doubt that. Mumfu shedding tears at your funeral while I'm burying dirt on you. I'ma make sure by the time I'm done with this, it's undisputable. You're sure to lose. Moment of silence for the body of a person. I just murked his name was Screw, and I would like to say a word or two. It's tragic that he died a virgin. He was such a humble dude. What a shame that Mumfu lost his husband to the wrath of Luke. I mean, is he a virgin? I don't know. My guess is no, but I again. I can't prove anything that's said. You just called him a virgin. Dante said I was so corny uh -oh. with the flows that I'm just as bad as mumble rappers. Whoa, well, you could tell this Urkel looking boy that I'ma smack his glasses so damn far up off his nose. He'll be moving slow as they said. Rocky this man really just said that all Screw said was he was gonna punch him in the face in real life. And then against Dante, Gon goes, I'm gonna punch you in your face in real life. Stupid. Gone. That was stupid. Also, you shouldn't have come. <laughs> you shouldn't have gone after I'm Dante. That's just asking to get murked. Like that's just asking to die. Bro, yeah, that's the line removed from World War Three. It was tongue in cheek. Dante roasted me first. Now Screwface John tries to pull that fucking race card. Oh please, you say everybody's racist that you battle. Look at the YouTube side for like nobody sees it. I just see it. I do too. I'm about to have to say something. Come on, because this shit's getting out of hand. There's clear white bias on YouTube. Do what you feel. We got you. Okay. He's talking about a YouTube cipher. And like, they're in the YouTube rap community. There is a very, very heavy unbalance of like white people comparative to the rest of the rap community. I don't think it's a problem. Um, Like, there's a clear white bias on YouTube. If, you know, a white rapper gets popular for being good, he's good. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't. But again, I'm, I am white, so you know, my personal opinions on the matter could be different because of racial bias. But in my personal opinion, what Screw said isn't a problem because he didn't do anything about it. He's just saying that there's white bias. And if there is white bias, we should work to fix that. But at the same time, don't fix it to the point where you're, where you're like, not subscribing or not listening to or not like allowing a white rapper into the community just because they're white trying to get rid of the bias. You know what I'm saying? Cause we put your ass to sleep. All I'm hearing are excuses from a loser getting beat. You the one who's publicly tweeting white rappers have to leave. I think I'm gonna take a break on white rappers for a while. I stand behind you. Well, that sounds just fine to me. Okay, he's taking a break on white rappers. He's not saying white rappers have to leave. He just said he doesn't want to listen to white rappers for a little while. I don't think there's a problem with that. Man, I'm sorry that you hate me for my race. I'm a guest in hip hop hell yeah, and I'm never taking your bait. It's too late. You said just not. Also, um, Gon just said he, that he. Screw hates him for his race. Screw's friends with white dudes. It's not like you're white, so he has to clown on you. Like, he's friends with white dudes. He clowns on you for other re reasons other than your race. So, gone. Gone. Screw for pulling the race card. And now Gone's pulling the race card. So, check as guess this is checkmate. You a battle rapper getting outsmarted by commercial artists. Just toast. You're not a commercial artist. It is ass like Pop Tarts. You had five months and three people who were trying to harm me, but I out wrapped them in one hour. I guess that's why they call me Karma. Uh, Shizzy Snake Six. Be all right, so uh, here I'm gonna play all the Shizzy stuff. Then I'm gonna uh send my opinion about. Give me for a collab. I could give a fuck about how good you rap. You expose yourself a phony. You a cornball for that act. Go ahead. Come at me again, no, I don't give a damn. Pictures worth a thousand words. I'm done responding to your ass. Battle rap is cool. All right, so we already watched Shizzy's whole video on it. 
And um, he did that on purpose, Gone. He was trying to bait you out because he doesn't like you. He thinks you're corny. He thinks you're detrimental to the platform of YouTube. So he was trying to get rid of you by having you buried. And so at the end of the day, he was trying to bait it. He was trying to bait you. He said that's what he was trying to do. So yeah, it's whatever, man. It's whatever. You have your own opinion on it, but I have, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a big problem. And I guess I'm playing into it because I'm reacting to, like, the beef. But, like, people be dissing each other for, like... Like, why is this shit public? Just fucking punch each other in the mouth. Whoever wins, wins. And move on about your life. That's how I see it. Cool, but y'all can't earn a living off that... Can't earn a living off that crap. crap. Something I learned about six. He's a bitch. Makes mm. excuses for everything. Most insecure person ever. Mm. That's a fact. Y'all are whack. Look at... It's called shizzy a bitch. If you're... Like, again, if you're gonna... Come at somebody and call them a bitch online. You better be ready to fight them. Because to a lot of people, that's disrespecting them. If somebody that I wasn't friends with called me a bitch, I'd be disrespected. I'd be, I'd be making moves on them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would, I, I would be feeling some type of way about it because that's disrespect. And, like, Shizzy and Gone were homies. So, like, Gone calls, sh say Shizzy a bitch. Like, Shizzy going to respond how he knows how to respond. And he's made it clear several times that, Whenever he's disrespected, he will punch you in your mouth. So that's how it is. In back, Mumfu, he was trying to rap. Okay. All his ex girls tweets show support for all of that. Holy shit, I just figured out the puzzle and it's lit. Mumfu hates all of us rappers because his music never hit. Lost his girl and then career, so now he's eating like a pig. Even though he lost his battle, his obesity will win. Come to think, this whole situation's funny. Check the facts. Three 30 year old men spending half a year plotting on my. I don't think Shizzy's 30. And who cares? Yes, what the hell? Y'all done took the L before we even rap. That's no. a tough pill to swallow for your fans. You two battle rappers murdered by suburban kid. I laugh because they keep on coming back. Y'all must really fucking love me. Check your pants. At this point around three would just be sad. Quit obsessing over me talking about how you'll beat my ass. Y'all must be so damn mad. Luke gone. That clout chasing cornball kid really doesn't give a shit. Y'all can suck. My dick. If you don't give a shit, why'd you make a, a response? First of all. Second of all, you didn't you didn't bury them. Let's check the comments as we usually do. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, boys, he called screw a stalker. I can't ever recover. Oh, this wasn't yeah, that's what I said. It's all unnecessary. Hmm. If I'm chasing out of the chat. Oh, how much my people's get. Yeah. So, oh my God, look at the like to dislike ratio. It's the same. Yeah, Gone lost. I think personally that Gone needs to stop battle rapping. Like, yesterday. Like, don't don't battle rap against people who can do it better than you because you'll lose. And you know, Gone. I think Gone should just focus on making music. That Gone likes to make, regardless of what people say about it, because there's always gonna people that are gonna be that are gonna hate. There's always people that are gonna, you know, have something negative to say about how you're moving and what you're doing. But um, it seems a little bit like Gone cares too much about what other people say about him. Like you know, people said his song was corny and that he's corny, and it makes him seem cornier that he makes this much of a fuss and like is trying to diss people in songs and is getting all these beefs with people. Screw's the same way. Screw has had way too many beefs. Why? For what? Who cares? Make your music. Go on about your day. Go on about your day. Who who really cares at the end of the day? Just make your music, man. That's really what matters at the end of the day is good music. Good music wins above everything. So if somebody disses you and you just ignore it and you just make good music, you won. Because you're making good music and they're you know, putting time and energy into making a song dissing you instead of making good music. So that's all I got to say. Uh, check out uh, check out all the people involved in this beef. Um, check out Ball Pit Videos and follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv uh, slash the, ball, the underscore ball pit. All right. Thank you for coming. Bye.